very uh, interesting uh, video of what where, that's primary you were there and uh, it, it got so bad that people were kicking and uh, um, ballot boxes. That's the primary is at Surulere at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Surulere. It got so bad that people were kicking ballot boxes. Things got violent. Uh, do you think that particular incident would tear the party apart? Let's watch the video. Are you still going to show the video? Or? Well, we, 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 we'll put up the video in a, while, in, in, in a minute. Okay. I think there's been uh, a lot of um, division already as a result of what happened at Tesla Balogun Stadium. Um, a lot of people came into that election or into that stadium because they wanted to go into a primary. They came into the stadium because they wanted to vote. As a matter of fact, some people were of the opinion that even if they were going to lose, they were of the opinion that they would still have wanted to go through the process and be beating square and fair on the field. But when they got there, of course, things were different. And my local government, for example, and the Yaba local government, which is a neighboring local government, there's a lot of tension right now because there are two, two candidates who are presenting themselves as a candidate for the party, the All Progressive Congress in Lagos, in Yaba local government in Lagos, Milan. There you go, there. Uh, and, and in Lagos, Milan, as well, in itself, there's currently still a lot of bad blood that we've had to bring people together. Uh, I have had to play a lot of role. Uh, I've even had to write a lot about how leadership needs to do a lot of rapprochement. This is where you lost uh, you, uh, the opportunity to run, isn't it? Absolutely. You were not given a chance to run. It, it was uh, someone. Who, it was a voice vote, isn't it? Supposedly, absolutely, to a large extent. It was an imposition of some sort. I, I wouldn't say imposition. And, you know, this is my view about imposition. I, I've said it um, uh, a lot of times that, for example, in 1999, the governor of Lagos, the governor of Ogun State, were a product of consensus candidates. So consensus candidacy is different from an issue of imposition. Okay. We've got a short break. If, and if, if I may come in, if I okay, may just come we, in. we need to go on a break. No, no, so no problem, we'll, we'll come back. Because I need to finish that. No problem. We need to go on a break. And when we come back, we'll be giving our concluding thoughts on the program. Stay with us. As we allow our guests to, on the program to give their concluding statements on the program on the local council elections in Lagos now, um, you were going to say something about... Yes, the, the primaries divided the party a lot. A lot of people are grieved and they're still aggrieved. I have people who, you know, recently have continued to call for rapprochement. I've also called for unity in the party. And people call me and say, Daya, why can't you keep quiet? This is, you know, you, you, by even saying that people should go ahead and vote for the party, you are encouraging impunity. And I said, no, it's not that. The Yoruba will sit about letting your law that in the election we must work together. At the same time, internally we must be able to speak the truth to power. So it has divided a lot of people. In Yaba, there are two candidates right now. In Lagos, a lot of people are not happy and are just standing back. But the party must move on from the election to seek to unite the people, to unite its members the same way the PDP is doing now to bring up it, 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 it might be a very difficult task because a lot of them have gone to court. Let me allow Comrade Ayadewali to come well, in. On well, this uh, well, I... I think some people are too emotional about, about issues and uh, we must be able to look at issues from various perspectives. Yes, there was a primary conducted. Yes, some people went overboard to allow their temper to dictate their actions. What you saw there was barbarism. If anybody felt otherwise, they are laid down charter in the constitution of our party. They are leader pro I mean, provision in that constitution. They should have utilized all avenues mm. to redress their grievance and all, of, and all of that. What makes you think that there are no infiltrators? But excuse they were delegates. Me, excuse me. But they were delegates. They were accredited hold delegates. On. What makes you think they are all delegates? No, I, I bet you. Hold on, hold I, on, I hold on. Dio, you, you were speaking. I didn't say okay, a word. I'll let, you, I'll let you finish. You were speaking. I didn't say a I'll word. I'll let you finish. What makes you think there are no infiltrators there? Allowed by the party leadership. Just, just, just for the thinking. What makes you there are no infiltrators there? You understand? The issue is people must learn to control their temper. At that process of throwing whatever, if you had touched somebody and the person falls down and dies, wouldn't you have taken mm. the action too overboard? 
All right. So, so should be condemned. Just, just a moment, because oh, oh moment, because uh, let me allow Samson Itodo to give his concluding thoughts. Generally, from what we uh, what we saw today, just in about uh, uh, thirty seconds or, or so, if you will round up your thoughts and tell us uh, the way forward for local government administration and elections in Nigeria, what would that be? institutionalize um, the local government um, within our constitution and that's why we must support the action taken by the by the national assembly um, to uh, to deepen the independence of the the local government um, councils and and ensure that we put mechanisms in place for strengthening accountability and transparency at the local government level but i would say that let us as a people not rationalize illegality because of our political interest. We must uphold the rule of law and constitutionalism if we want to protect this democracy. All right. Uh, let me allow uh, Mr. Ken Okulubo to, to give his uh, concluding thoughts. Lessons from today. Just in about a statement. Internal democracy. That's all. Internal democracy must be enhanced and must be protected. Right. Once that is done, the lessons of today would have been length. Uh, Mr. Yadewale, many thanks for coming. Dayo Israel, thanks so much. Uh, Mr. Ken Okulubo, many thanks. Samson Todo, thank Always you so pleasure. much uh, for coming on the program, gentlemen. Just before we go, elections and voting are ingredients of a sweet democracy. The most common form of political participation is exercising your right to vote. Understandably, there is a growing mistrust for the establishment. It is spreading not just in Nigeria, but as much as we feel the need to blame the government for almost everything, we need to ask ourselves, what are my rights and obligations and how well have I discharged them? Remember, for the Nigerian democracy to flourish, a better voting behavior is needed. There will definitely be no need for elections where political participation is lacking. And that's our show for tonight. It's a special one to focus on the local council elections. And I gl I'm glad that you enjoyed every bit that we brought to you today. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Sean Wakimale. Bye for now.